So this is the second tower. It's a, uh, a 40 meter rotatable dipole on top. Pretty simple tower. Let's go around and have a look at it. There's the quad up there. That's on another extendable lattice tower that I made. It lowers and rises. But anyway, let's have a look at this one. So this is a 40 meter rotatable dipole. Up the top is a carriage that lowers down. So it lowers all the way down the silver pole. If you get strong wind or something you can just uh, drop it down to there coming around there it is up there comes down this is all homemade so what happens here it pivots using this pulley so this pulley is wound which in turn you pull this pin out and it allows this center section here to pivot down and pivots down that way into the clear space so it's a pretty simple system just a slab I actually put some um, starter stubs in the concrete so it's got some starter stubs there so I picked up these weights from eBay um, eBay from Facebook marketplace they're um, what are they 20 25 kilos each and when it's in the horizontal position coming up it um, it actually makes it a bit easier to wind down. So this winch comes down through the bottom, through a pulley, around, and joins onto the bottom of this centre pole. Joining here in the bottom of the centre pole. This, like I said, this pin comes out. It's just a pin to stop it vibrating back and forth in the wind. So these two poles are fixed. This pole here pivots, and there's the carriage up there so the carriage is operated off this winch over here which just winds up and down on the carriage and extends it up so really windy days you can drop the carriage down to the end of the silver section if you're a little bit more concerned you can actually um, drop it drop the tower down as well but it's not a bad tower I wouldn't put too much weight on it um, perhaps that and a hex beam would be the limit. I don't know whether I'd put something like an opti beam or something like that on it because um, it would certainly uh, push it to the limits. But anyway, it's all easy enough to build. This is just 100 mil by 100 mil steel. 100 mil by 100 mil, 100 mil by 100 mil. The silver part in the section is 90 by 90 and it slides down, it's bolted that bolt section. All the conduits come underground out the slab back to the radio shack and meet up inside this distribution box there's three feeds here if needed so anyway any questions have a go but it's all really basic straightforward it's just if you've got the ability to weld and um, you can even pick up the metal on uh, Facebook so good luck with all that and enjoy your radio